Hey everybody, welcome back to Keep Drawing. Today we're going to draw the terror of the ancient seas, the Megalodon. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our sheet of printer paper and a black marker. And the first thing I'm going to do is start right over here with a line that curves down with a slight bump in it. And this is going to be the top of the Megalodon's head. And then here I'm going to curve down just a little and then come up like this. Next, I'm going to make the pointed part of the snout up here to show that the shark is going to be coming up with its mouth wide open. So I'm going to bring this line down here and stop right about there. My next step is the lower jaw, which is wide open over on this side. So I'm going to bring this line up and stop it right about here and then bring down the lower jawline underneath his head like this. And then one more line down here. For my next step, I'm going to add the eye. So right here where this bump is, I'm going to draw a circle. And put a little bit of a light catcher right there. And we don't really know what Megalodon's eye looks like, but I imagine it looking like a Mako or a Great White, mostly dark. So I'm going to go ahead and color in this eye. Get my other Sharpie out here so it goes a little quicker. And then the teeth. So right about here we're going to have a gum line that sticks out just a bit where it continues from the upper jaw here. And I'm going to put a series of very large triangular teeth. Um, one fact about the Megalodon's teeth is they were up to 7 inches long, which is huge considering the fact that a 20-foot great white has teeth that are around two and a half to three inches long. So I'm going to go ahead and put in one tooth here. Just to show you how it's done, notice that it's triangle shaped. We'll have a little line that goes down the middle. And the edges are going to be a little bit rough, kind of like a saw blade. And a little line in the gums here. So we're going to make a little bit of space in between each one, but we're going to continue with this triangular teeth in his gums and his upper jaw. All the way down to the corner of the mouth. And I'm just going to connect these two here. And bring this line down to the corner. Okay. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of detail to each tooth here. And now we're ready to draw the teeth on the lower jaw, which are going to be a little bit narrower and a little more curved. And once again, they're going to start smaller at the corner of the mouth and then become larger towards the center. And um, we're going to go ahead and add the teeth on the other side of the mouth, too. So we have kind of a pattern of teeth sticking out there and over here.
Now, it was estimated that the megalodons probably grew to a maximum size of 60 feet or so, and that they usually preyed on whales. And uh, that's really pretty amazing. What we're going to show here in this picture is um, the megalodon about to swallow a smaller shark. But before I do that, I'm going to add some waves and swells where the surface of the ocean is. Just add a few ripples in here. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a dorsal fin of a smaller shark that is about to be a snack for Megalodon. Put two lines in either direction like this. The snout and the head. Pectoral fins. Belly and the tail. Maybe a few extra fins here. Eye and gills. And then add some teeth, nostril, and that's our smaller shark who's about to become a meal. Now, um, just to add a few details and a little more depth, we're going to put some wrinkles here where the lower jaw, where the, I'm sorry, the upper jaw is sort of curved in as the mouth opens and a nostril. Okay. And then we'll just sort of shade a little bit. Add a little bit of shadow here. And then let's show some lines with show motion as the megalodon is rising up through the depths to eat another shark. Okay, well, that's how you draw a megalodon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share with a friend. Thank you.